Maximize your skills with rudimental drumming at schoolofsuperdrumming.com. The link is in the description. When it comes to crossing over with the left hand, all you're doing is flipping your hand over. So the back side of your hand is facing towards the sky. And at the same time, you're gonna keep the same exact grip and traditional grip as you would have it when you're in regular playing position. When it comes to crossing over with your right hand, after you play your stroke, you're gonna shift your right hand over to the point where it's in French grip. In other words, the palm of your hand is going to be facing towards the sky, but you're not going to change your grip or anything. Make sure you maintain your grip. Also, you're going to have to twist your wrist a little bit so you can get into that position with your right hand. After you finish isolating each hand, you're going to put both of them together. Notice right before I'm about to strike with my left hand, you can see that the back of my left hand is facing towards the sky, but it's right over the right hand. This is exactly how you want to do your crossovers. Or this is one way you could do your crossovers, I should say. When it comes to crossing over the top of your left hand with your right hand, you're still going to maintain that same positioning with your right hand with the wrist twist and the palm of your hand facing towards the sky. And like I said, it's gonna be right over the top of your left hand. Your right hand is pretty much in a French grip position. Another position drummers like to use when doing a crossover is the X position. This position is useful when you're maintaining that position to do like a single stroke roll. But if you try to do the crossovers between your left hand and the right hand with that position, your hands might run into each other, so it's not recommended that you do that. So with this first exercise, these are all single stroke roll based. And for the first four counts, your left hand is going to stay over the top of your right hand when doing the crossovers. And then going into the next measure, the first three counts are going to be going back and forth between the right hand and the left hand crossing over each other. And then the last counts will have the left hand over the top of the right hand doing a 16th note based single stroke five. With this next exercise, these are all single stroke based, and this is also a triplet based exercise. Basing this off of a 12 8 time signature, the first four counts are gonna be accent taps, and then the next four counts are gonna be back and forth crossovers between the right hand and the left hand. And you're going to repeat the whole phrase twice. Like this video and subscribe to the channel. If you want full access to over 500 videos of stick tricks, rudiments, and exercises, sign up today at schoolofsuperdrumming.com. The link is in the description.